Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you Pac-Man ROM version 14 for STC Desire SD, Inspire 4G, and Desire S. So this ROM is based on the latest Android version 4.1.2, and this ROM is very fast, smooth, and stable. The battery life of this ROM is excellent. Basically, this ROM is based from the AOSP and the Sanagen mode source codes, and in this ROM we get many tweaks and customization option in the settings menu. And the most exciting feature about this ROM is that you can switch between different modes. You can just switch between the tablet UI, hybrid UI options. And there are many other options in this ROM. In the settings menu here, you get different options. Like the paranoid Android settings. From where you can choose between different user interface. Like you can choose between the stock UI, tablet, tablet. So let me just show you by switching to the tablet. It requires a reboot so guys now my phone has rebooted and now my phone is on the tablet mode you can just see the notification bar here so you can just see it in the settings menu you get a different user interface the tablet style and in the paranoid settings you get many other options you can just edit all the modes the tablet mode the phone mode accordingly and you get many other options here so just check it and you also get a system option here where you have different customization options like you can just customize your status bar you can just customize the notification drawer you can just add or remove any toggles you don't like and you can just increase or decrease the font size and accordingly there are many other customization options and here in the ROM control option again you get many customization options that are very useful here you get four different tabs, interface, status bar, system and the tools. In the interface settings you can just customize your UI. You can select custom boot animation, change the notification background and many other options. In the lock screen option you have many customization options to choose the lock screen wallpaper and many other options like the volume wake. And from the status bar option you can just change the icon style of the battery clock toggle signal you can just change their locations and there are many other customization options too and again here you get many other options like the led option you can just change the brightness of the led buttons and here you get the performance tab from here you can just increase or decrease your cpu frequency you can just overclock or underclock it and it's very useful and it's very useful because you can just increase the performance of your ROM or just save the battery life. And you get many other general settings. And you can just see that this ROM is very fast and smooth. There are no lag in this ROM. Right on the lock screen. You can just see the smoothness of the lock screen. And in the app menu you get many useful apps pre-installed like the ES File Manager, Apollo Music Player, ROM Manager. ROM manager and the DSP manager. The DSP manager is very useful as it has got many sound settings. So just have a look. And guys the camera in this ROM works perfectly. So let me just show you. And the video camera is also working perfectly. So let me just record the video at the 720p the SD format. So there you can just see it's working perfectly so there is no issue with the camera and you get all the jelly bean widgets in this ROM and you can just see this ROM is very fast and smooth you can just see the transitions and in the notification bar you get the tablet style notification bar as I am on the tablet user interface here you can just see you get many quick settings option here from here you can just access the settings quickly and it's very useful and you get the default jelly bean style recent app menu from here you can just slide to close them or just click to open it and now coming to the battery life the battery life of this ROM is excellent as there are many customization done in this ROM just try this one as every feature in this ROM works perfectly and you get many tweaks in this ROM and you can just switch between different user interface so that's all if you have any queries just comment below or hit me on facebook and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching have a nice day